Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. Have any of you ever wondered how much internet bandwidth your mining rig takes? This is definitely something I've I've wondered about, and I'm sure a lot of you have wondered about as well. I know that a lot of people have been saying that your mining rig, you know, you don't need a fast internet connection to to mine. And you know, I believe that's true, 100%. And but actually, I want to just see exactly in this video how much internet is actually being used on one of my mining rigs. So we're going to test it out on a RX 580 rig, uh, six card rig, and I'm going to be using a software called Net Balancer. Okay, guys, and this is just something I found on Google. It's just a a 15 day trial, but uh, if you want to actually use it forever, you have to buy it. Uh, but you know, for this test, we're just doing the 15 day trial. And I know there's a bunch of other software out there, uh, Glasswire, Wireshark, a whole bunch of other ones, but I found this Net Balancer one to be a lot better in terms of lower CPU usage. Uh, the Glasswire one seemed to have a really high CPU usage because the, U the UI, the user interface, was uh, pretty, 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 uh, how do I say it, uh, vivid. It had a lot of different graphs and moving stuff. But Net Balancer seems to be pretty low usage, CPU usage. All right, so to show you guys, you can see here that a lot of, a lot of different processes here show in Net Balancer. And you can see here, there's, there's, there's going to be four different uh, metrics here we're going to use. There's the down rate, up rate, and downloaded, and uploaded, okay? So in terms of the uh, down rate, you guys can see here um, that the down rate is what the actual, what's actually happening in real time. But then the downloaded and uploaded is the total amount of uh, kilobits or bytes or megabytes is actually being used uh, in, a, in, in the whole time frame here. So you can see on the traffic chart, it's by 60 minutes, okay? I put it in 60 minutes because we're gonna do a one hour test using uh, Claymore 14.7 and as well we're gonna try on the new nice hash miner uh, we're gonna see how much network uh, internet bandwidth is gonna be used by these miners so the first test guys the first test I want to use is uh, the Claymore 14.7 so we're gonna go ahead and start it here and I'm just gonna jot down by let's see it's 1019 right now so about uh, 1020 I'm gonna say so 1020 we're gonna uh, I'm gonna come back at around 1120 and we're gonna see how much total the the Claymore processor process here so you guys can see here under net balancer the ETH DCR miner 64 process process has shown up uh, in net balancer and we can see now it's already started to download uh, and upload uh, 1.9 kilobytes per second and 1.2 kilobytes per second uploaded and you can see here it looks like the down rate and up rate it's hovering around I saw 396 for download in terms of bytes not kilobits uh, bytes but bytes guys bytes is like a very very small very small amount and uh, we're gonna we're gonna let this go guys for an hour and yeah I'll see you guys in three two one all right, guys. So after about an hour now, it's 11:20, and you can see here, according to the net balancer, the Claymore miner has used about 256.3 kilobytes total in that one hour. Uh, that's for downloaded, and then for upload, it has used about 185.7 kilobytes. Uh, total 186 now it's it's going higher and higher every every couple seconds so um, let's let's just do a simple calculation here so uh, in about an hour span it's downloaded about 257 so 257 oh it's 258 now I'm just gonna do 257 kilobytes okay so this is kilobytes and in a megabyte there's a thousand kilobytes okay so we're gonna do uh, so this is in one hour right we're gonna do times 24 and that will equal 6,168 kilobytes, okay? And in megabytes, guys, this is with the, this would be 6.1 megabytes, okay? So total, theoretically, in one day, 
this mining rig would use would download at about six megabytes a day and then as for the upload it would upload at about let's see we said 187 so 187 times 24 so that's 24 hours okay would be about 4.4 megabytes so it would use an upload bandwidth of 4.4 megabytes a day okay so there you guys go you guys can see the total bandwidth usage on Claymore Miner, okay? Now, let's go ahead and test out the nice hash. I I'm, I'm curious to see the combination of nice hash and the miners together. Um, so let's, let's just close everything here. And now, you guys will notice... Um, Okay, everything's closed. The processor, the process has been removed. And now we're going to go open up NiceHash and we'll do another test. Okay, guys? So let's open that up and we're going to double click on the NiceHash miner. Now we are going to start. All right. So we're going to be mining on the Team Red miner for Kryptonite R on this rig. And as you guys can see, nice hash opens up, and as well, team team red miner. Okay, so we're gonna do another one hour time frame. It's about I'm gonna say let's say one eleven twenty five. So I'll come back at twelve twenty five. Okay, so we'll get a whole reading of team red miner and nice hash miner uh, together. Okay, guys, be right back. So three, two. One. All right, guys. So it's just about twelve twenty-five, and as you guys can see, Nice Hash has used about eighty-nine point six kilobytes total on download. So I'm gonna write this down actually. So Nice Hash itself used eighty-nine point six uh, kb, and then for upload is about sixty-six point two. Uh, in a span of one hour. Okay, right on. And then Team Red Miner by itself used about, let's see, uh, Team Red Miner 53.4 for download. So 53.4 KB for download. And then, um, uh, let's see here, upload will be. Upload one hour will be about 39.37.9. Uh, All right, so 37.9 kilobits per kilobytes in an hour. Let's let's now look at that, and we'll we'll see what the average kilobytes or bytes per per minute here in a second. I forgot to show that in the other the other test we did with Claymore. But according to the graph, it's it's pretty low. Like uh, looking at it right now, it looks like per minute, nice hash and team red miner is using using about two kilobytes a minute around there for download and upload actually. So uh, let's go ahead and do some calculations here, guys. Okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna combine the download for nice hash. And Team Red Miner together because that's what they use both together anyway for nice hash. For whole day will be equals uh, 3.4 megabytes. Okay. For upload, uh, whole day equals, and then we're gonna we have to combine 66.2 plus uh, 37.9. And that will equal 104. So 104 kilobytes per hour. And then uh, times 24 would equal, so in megabytes, two, looks like 2.5 megabytes a day. Okay, so that's for the upload speed. I've already calculated here, guys. Uh, finally, let's just, let's just see here. Theoretical numbers here. Um, well, real life numbers on this RX 580 rig, six card rig, okay? So on Claymore 14.7, in about of day, it was 6.1 megabytes, right? And so I did a times 30, so a typical month, and then 
Uh, total for download, your bandwidth, internet bandwidth would use about 185 megabytes a month, okay? And then your upload would be about 134 megabytes a month, okay? Now, for nice hash, let's do this. Uh, 3.4 times 30. So that would be about 102 megabytes a month. And then for their upload, uh, for nice hash, 2.5 times 30 would equal about, yeah, 75, 75 megabytes a month, okay? And now, so look at that. It looks like nice hash actually uses much less. I guess it depends on the miner. I guess I should have done Claymore Miner on NiceHash, but uh, <laughs> it's summertime, and so I like to use uh, uh, any Kryptonite Miner because uh, low low power consumption and lower heat, all that kind of stuff. But it kind of gives you guys a general idea how much, in terms of megabytes, your uh, miner could use a day. Okay, so it gives a pretty good perspective in terms of, uh, I guess, an AMD miner, AMD rig. Uh, you mining Ethereum or any Kryptonite coin, so you guys can see that here. So, 180 me megabytes a month per rig seems pretty, pretty legit, uh, pretty, pretty low in my opinion. And so now, theoretically, um, let's pretend here, uh, just to end off the video. You guys, imagine if you had an ISP and you pay monthly for your bill, uh, but only imagine if you only had about, let's say, one terabyte of bandwidth a month. Okay. 1 terabyte upload and 1 terabyte download. So let's do a simple calculation here. So in terms of 1 terabyte, so let's just go by gigabytes, okay? So uh, we're going to go 1,000. So 1,000, this is 1,000 gigabytes, okay? Uh, here, let's let me reset everything. 1,000 gigabytes uh, divided by 0 0.185. So 185 is the megabytes. So in one one. Uh, one gigabyte is 1,000 megabytes, okay? So that's the calculation I'm doing here. And then, so look at that. Theoretically, okay? Theoretically, you could have 5,405 mining rigs, or I guess 5,405 RX, 6x RX580 rigs a month mining Ethereum, Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you you would be you would be fine with a uh, internet connection that had a uh, 1000 uh, in terms of bandwidth okay if we were using say you had half of that okay so say you had a uh, uh, internet bandwidth of of 500 gigabytes a month then you would just you would just divide this by 2 so theoretically you can have 2702 mining rigs a month, okay, able to, uh, in terms of inter using their internet bandwidth. So I don't know of anybody that has 2,702 mining rigs of 6 by RX 580s. Uh, that would be pretty insane. I mean, at that scale, you'd probably have unlimited internet bandwidth anyway. If you're, if you have a mining business, obviously, or a big warehouse, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be paying unlimited internet with this. So <laughs> interesting test, guys. Interesting, uh, Interesting test indeed. I, I guess I forgot to show the uh, about uh, how much kilobytes per minute. Um, so let's just go, let's see here. So it was 256 kilobytes per hour. So let's just go 257 uh, divided by 60. And yeah, we get around yeah 4.2 kilobytes per second in Claymore. And in, uh, let's see, in nice hash around there. It was about, let's see, 89.6 plus 53.4, uh, let's actually go back, equals 143, and then divided by 60, 60 minutes, yeah, 2.3, 2.4 kilobytes uh, per minute. Okay, so it's it's really, and then if we go even further, a minute divided by 60, I guess I should have I should have done that. Uh, we're, we're using very minimal bytes per per second like very minimal in terms of uh, Internet speed, I guess so anyways guys, let me know what you think I appreciate you guys so much and smash the like button if you guys like this and Click the subscribe button notification bell all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video Have a good one and peace out